Pompei è un sito UNESCO dove la, gli scavi vanno avanti dal 1748, dunque è un sito che ha fatto un po' la storia anche della nostra disciplina, dell'archeologia, ma anche della scienza, del restauro, della conservazione, ma anche un sito dove tuttora la ricerca va avanti, ci sono nuovi scavi, nuovi progetti, anche sui depositi, sul materiale già recuperato e il progetto di Per ehm, eh, si rivolge proprio a questo aspetto del, di Pompei come un sito eh, vivo, molto impegnato nella innovazione anche per la conservazione e per la ricerca sul patrimonio archeologico. The Repair Project is a European project a FET open project which aims at uh, constructing a robotic platform for the physical reconstruction of broken frescoes. Uh, the project is coordinated by Kafoskari University of Venice and there are six partners besides the Kafoskari University, there's the Italian Institute of Technology, there's a Ben-Gurion University, uh, Pompei Archaeological Park, University of Bonn and the Instituto Superior Tecnico of Lisbon. The overall objective is to reconstruct very large broken frescoes. We are talking about more than 10,000 fragments uh, right now stored in storerooms and uh, using the latest technology in the fields of computer vision, uh, machine intelligence, artificial intelligence and robotics, we hopefully aim at the end of the project to reconstruct very large frescoes. Today is a very special day because after more than three years, the robotic platform of the Repair Project is in Pompeii and it started working in its uh, natural place. And this is very exciting for us because we started this uh, project more than three years ago in 2021. And uh, we wanted to introduce a completely new technology in the field of archaeology, which would allow us to physically reconstruct large broken frescoes. The project, as I said before, started in September 2021. Uh, we passed several uh, phases, difficult times. Uh, technically speaking, this is a very challenging project because we have to solve problems that require us to work with the most sophisticated technologies in the field of deep learning, artificial intelligence and robotics. So after three and a half years, more or less, we are finally here in Pompeii. Uh, we are looking at this wonderful robot and uh, the robot is moving pieces around very naturally. And we are confident that in a few weeks from now, it's gonna work on concrete uh, puzzle uh, frescoes. <music> 